I assume I have to hit it in the face or the butt. Probably the butt. Give me that. Yep. Okay, that's not so hard. I'm good at this part. See, this isn't so bad if I manage to dodge just everything at all. This should be a fun little adventure. Why do they all have mustaches? And here we go, making an entrance. You out there? Nope, that was someone else who crashed in here. Get in here immediately. So polite. Peasant, I have an important task for you. If it was really that important, you wouldn't be putting a peasant on it, would you? As you've noticed, this mine is plagued with terrible earthquakes. I need you to delve into the mine and find the source of the tremors. As you just literally said, it's earthquakes. Those happen sometimes. And there's another thing. Our blacksmith has gone missing, and without him, the forge lay dormant. Off with you, peasant. Take this key and unlock the entry to the mine. Do not fail me. You know, you could probably go do it yourself, since you're some kind of important wizard. A journal? Keep that journal with you. Refer to it if you ever seek the answer to a question. Yeah, why do I have to do all the hard work? Is the answer to that in a journal, or are we just going to ignore it? Anyways, the mine's down here, so let's get to it. The gold mine. But this is actually more of just, you know, the practice gold mine. Basically a very complicated tutorial that's almost like a puzzle, but not really. The first of many enemies we're going to encounter today, a simple rat. But one of the more enjoyable parts of this so far, the bombs. There are bombs. We will get a lot of them at some point. Tough day? Found nothing. Did you hear that? Even in death, you're a nobody. And yet another puzzle monster we have to defeat. Got it. And these little morons still all my precious gold. And that kind of sucks for me because the gold is pretty hard to come by. But that's also going to be our focus today. We're going to grind up and get a bunch of gold to make ourselves way overpowered. One of the problems is though, every time you're down here, you will eventually die. And as soon as you do, you lose a bunch of your gold. So our first task is to stop that from happening. We can do that by buying better items. And occasionally we find things like this. Lightning bomb, bomb explosions, chain lightning. Well, I won't say no to that. I never found one of those before training wheels are coming off. I also probably need a better way to get gold because as soon as I knock it loose those little guys come and try and steal it all right away and if they do get it it's actually pretty hard to get it back. Luckily my bird here also helps me but I need maybe a bigger better batter bird or maybe better movement speed. I notice it's also fairly easy to die depending on what enemies you're fighting. Things like the rats aren't so bad but some of them really do a lot of damage in a hurry so it's actually gonna be pretty tricky to do this. Anyway step number one in our little mission is finding that stupid blacksmith because I think he's got the upgrades we need to lose our gold every time we die which is gonna happen quite a lot. And what are you? Oh a merchant. Okay do you have anything worthwhile? Reloader draught. You can't always get what you want but if you try sometimes you might just find you get it for free. That's not really, but sure. Bag full of bombs, I'll take it. I now have six of the lightning bombs. I guess these merchants randomly show up throughout the mines. If you feel so inclined, you can try and blow up their cart. Don't take it personally. I kind of do this to everything I see. Oh, it works. What did we get? Urge potion. Removes a curse and a blessing. Well, thanks. Is this also something? Nope. Little mushrooms. I'm not sure if those are actually enemies or not. Those might have actually been trying to help me and I just mercilessly killed them. Oh, so you also have a mustache. I mostly want your pickaxe and we'll deal with you. Sturdy pickaxe. Increase swing damage. Okay. I mean, I feel like I would be the one to increase his swing damage, but if the pickaxe wants to do it too, that's fine. What do we got here? Blueprint discovered. Wayland's boots. Crafted at the blacksmith. Wonder where I could find one of those. I'm not really here for you. I mostly just need your skills. Hey there, friend. My name is Wayland. Was just down here picking some mushrooms when one of those quakes caved the entrance in. That's nice. It's cool. I got the prescription from the apothecary for these. I don't care about your mushroom addiction. I'll get you out in all the best gear. I can also craft any blueprints you find laying around, just like the one you stole from my chest. Should have locked it then. That's the point of a lock. So far, my adventures have yielded me one blacksmith and 60 gold, so I need to be doing better. A crown? Queen's crown? Increase sword damage, swing size, and swing speed? Well, that's fine. I'll wear it. I guess his swing size is bigger? I'll take its word for it. Final floor before we're moving downwards, just a little bit of gold and some much needed health. Hey, don't touch that. Don't touch that. Up to a massive 95 gold and I need to pay attention because the gold can actually spawn in the walls and I'm pretty sure I've already walked past a bunch of it because I didn't really notice that before. What is this thing? Uh, you know what? You guys can have some bombs. Oh, did it just die? What is that? Hello? You know, I was probably supposed to kill that before it got away, but I had good intentions with my bombs. Another man with a mustache. This one's trapped though, for real. Unlock. Requires a special key. Don't bother, it's locked tight. Yeah, thanks Captain Obvious. I let that wizard bamboozle me into coming down here and look where it got me. If you help me out of here, I have some useful bomb skills, being a bombsmith and all. How did you get locked in like the railroad tracks? I feel like that's your own fault. Here you go. No? Okay, I guess we'll look for the key it told me to get. Okay, that's not an ordinary rock as it turns out. This could be a little bit problematic. I don't really have any proper anything for this, but you know what? We'll make this work. Uh-oh. Ow. 
He broke the key. Did anyone else see that? There was a key. He just rolled right through it. However, if he can be spawning things, I could fight him forever and he could find me a whole bunch of stuff. This battle, maybe not going as well as I'd hoped. What does this do? Uh oh. Did that do anything? Purified. Oh yeah, that just removes curses and stuff. I probably should have thought about that before I used it, but I wanted any help I could get. Was very much hoping to be able to survive a little bit further into this to mine a little bit more gold. Ooh, that's some health though. Not very much. Look at that healing. That did very, very little. Okay, I'm very close to defeating him, but he's also very close to defeating me. I don't want to talk about how many rocks I let drop on me. Oh, I got him. I thought I was going to die. Ooh, look at all the stuff he dropped for me. Uh, can we grab all this before those little guys come? I don't think they're here anyway. Okay, cool. I assume this is all very valuable stuff. Prisoner key. I guess I'll let him out. And blueprint discovered. Shadow's Fang. Guys, everyone needs an extra mouth. Uh, good news. I got in a fight with a rock and apparently he had your thing. Make sure to pay me a visit. I can upgrade those firecrackers you call bombs. You and I are going to be very good friends. More than anything though, I would have really liked some healing. That little rock monster kind of left me in rough shape. Whatever this is probably would have helped. Yeah, I don't really have the ability to tank those spikes right now. Oh, I see what I gotta do. Now we just do one little jump over them to get the magic chest. What do we got? Oh, just lots of gold? I'll take lots of gold though anyway. I can die and bring it back to the surface. We're up to 785 now. And another merchant. Is the healing worth it at this point? 50 gold for a bit of healing. Is this gonna get me much health? Let's take a look. 14 with 34. Yeah, that probably wasn't really worth the investment. But I'm gonna blow up your card anyway. Thank you. Nothing. On this particular run, I'm not going to spend too much more trying to go deeper because I'm going to die really soon, so I might as well have as much gold for when I die. I like this floor already. Gold mine level 4. Two gold rocks. Hopefully we get all of this before the stupid idiots take it. If I manage to get over 1,000 gold on my first run, uh, I'll be doing pretty good. What is this thing? Well, this is an awfully dangerous floor. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to survive this. Nope, it definitely can't. So now I get to watch all my items and gold get spilled everywhere because this game is really mean. So to the 865 gold I owned, I got 432 to keep. Peasant, I have something for you. Uh, I'm not currently here. Oh, yeah I am. Before I see what the old guy wants, I need to know what this is. Upgrade your bombs to blow up new kinds of rocks. I'm gonna end up spending a lot of my money on stuff like that. Peasant, you've returned. Oh, someone new? Very well. I don't know. Yeah, sure. Okay. That goes foot sounds interesting. Pick up gold at a distance. I don't really want to spend 500 gold on it yet because I feel like 500 gold is a lot to spend right now. Got a few items we can craft already. Wayland's boots basically means I can break spikes underground or shadows fang. Higher chance to critical strike. I want that. That way I can kill things quicker. So how do we actually build it? Don't worry, I figured it out. You had to hit the craft button. We're gonna get that. Hopefully that's a permanent item now. I believe it is. Now as far as upgrades are concerned, I want the patchwork sack. 200 gold. Lose less gold on death. That's very important because I need more gold every time I die and come back here because I need more and more of these amazing upgrades. The next one's only 400 gold. And since the hand covers are only 50 gold, I'm gonna buy those. They just increase my ranged damage and I really like that because that's a safe way for me to hurt things. Well, I'll see you in a few minutes. I'm gonna go grind a whole bunch of gold. What is this, a shakedown? I don't know, I just kind of walked in here and started breaking stuff. Didn't realize there was anyone in here. Look now, pilfers out of every nook and cranny. Well, they show up anyway, and I'm worse than any one of them. But, hello beautiful. Look at you, do you have a license for that mustache? Apparently they're pretty easy to get. I'm Black Rabbit, the adorable mother of critters, queen of the tavern, destroyer of the hot cross buns. Right, do you have anything useful? Oh, she did have something useful. What do you say? Blueprints don't normally come this cheap. For you, my friend, the family discount. Are we related now? Because I'm confused. What do we got? Blueprint discovered. Archer's pendant. Crafted with the blacksmith. The doof is bought it. A useless scrap of paper. I'll make a fortune off these suckers. Pretty strong words for someone with a lot of breakable stuff in their store. Here you go. Yep, I definitely stole enough of her gold to make that worthwhile. Anything else for me? I also just realized that I did come back down here with all of my gold, so if I was to come down and die right away, I would actually be losing gold every run. What do you suppose is in a purple chest? Cursed. I wasn't really paying attention, but I think I just got cursed. What is this? Decreases potion duration. Isn't that amazing? What am I going to do with all my potions now that don't exist? Is this an enemy? I'm concerned about what this is. Are you causing earthquakes? Because there's an old guy up top who's pretty nervous about them. Baba has sent me below in search of three particular mushrooms. They're nothing like these pathetic ordinary mushrooms. They are unique with special qualities. Yeah, fine. I'll bring them to you should I find them, though I don't really know how to get back to you. This idiot again. One lever does nothing, one blows everything up, one lowers the wall and you go home rich. I mean, I've made worse choices before. That did nothing, so I'm left with two. One of these will blow everything up. One of them will do something good, and there's something under the water. Yeah, I'm feeling lucky. Nope, there we go. 75 gold wasted. Actually, 150 wasted total, so that's awesome. That was unexpected. A large hairy beast killed me, but I think I have 404 gold left, so I can get a bigger backpack. 
Last time I kept about half, this time I kept uh, a little over half, so next time again it'll be even more. 400 gold for one potato sack. The next ring hopefully isn't too much more. I'm one gold shy. One gold. Uh, well I guess if that's the way we're gonna play it, back I go. Turns out I should maybe be finding a way to blow up more rocks because I accidentally blew this one up and found my way down to a lower level. Or just a secret spot. I'll take a secret spot. I may have found one of the strange mushrooms that weird guy was looking for. Or this might just be a strange mushroom. Right, and what is it you do? Take my eldest spawn and help her proliferate these caves. Normally the parents aren't really that encouraged about me, but great. Shiitake. So if I find another weirdo again, I guess I'll give him that and he'll be happy or something. Interesting question. Do you see the gold along the wall? Can I walk along that ledge? We're gonna find out. Nope, in hindsight that was not a wise decision. Whoops, but that's okay, that's how we learn. Almost 2,000 gold to my name now, but I'm not sure what this is. This might be a problem if these guys decide to fight. For now we're gonna ignore them to pick up this mirror. Returns projectiles with attack. Oh, so I can bounce them back. That sounds moderately useful if I actually remember to do it. And what are you? Sir, I'm gonna have to kindly ask you to turn around. How about I remove your head? This dungeon is off limits. Unlock. Nope, no go. Why does the way down look different? Haven't I been down this far before? Well, that's promising. All oh, right, boss fight. Luckily for me, I'm really, really good at these. So, great. And at half health to start, so this will be easy. I assume I have to hit it in the face or the butt. Probably the butt. Give me that, yep. Okay, that's not so hard. I'm good at this part. See, this isn't so bad if I manage to dodge just everything at all. And if I could do like a thousand times more damage of what I'm doing. Uh-oh. I'm stuck. And I'm stuck again. Yep, this is going great. This might take a few tries for me to figure out. And I'm stuck again. Not too bad for my first try. I think I managed to hit it three, four times already. Is it getting shorter every time I hit it? I don't think so. I think I'm mostly just pretty boned. Uh-oh. Yeah, it was close. How much gold did I lose there? At least I'm coming back with enough to buy an upgrade. One potato sack, please. And then I need probably one more potato sack if you have it. 750? I don't have enough for that. That means we're going back in the hole. And one more very painful death later. I've managed to keep 1,000 of my 1,700 gold, so incrementally we're working our way up. That does mean I can buy a bigger thing so I can hold even more of that gold. The next one is a full 1,500, so that's going to be pretty hard to save up enough for. Now I know this probably seems like a bad idea, but there's no way I'm not going for a glowing blue chest. Probably just have to time it right. Open, and actually that wasn't so bad. I thought for sure I was going to die in some ridiculous way. I really just need a permanent one of these or at least to find it every time. Golden popcorn. Gold or sometimes duplicate itself. Another fun death to this stupid worm and I'm left with 1300 gold. Which means I'm currently keeping about 65% of the gold, so if I'm doing my math correctly, every upgrade gets me an extra 5% kept after every death. Found another one of the mushrooms. Still haven't found that guy again, but I guess that's 2 out of 3. Arrives in the darkness. Had to turn out the lights for that one. That looks fun. Found it in a purple chest. I assume it's an upgrade in damage. I will touch it as soon as I can. Hopefully the spikes don't destroy it. Blessed. Feel more swing damage. Great. And leaving a bomb on this other mushroom has gotten me... Last cap. A mushroom that enjoys a good jostle. Well, don't we all? Now as soon as I find Weirdo, if I find him ever again, I'll bring his kids back to him? I can't remember what I was supposed to do with them. I've got him anyway. I think I just found an entirely secret area. I was battling one of the big guys that runs around and smashes his head into things, and he opened up this. Which does... nothing that I can see. Maybe if I touch the purple flame? Nope, that's just a typical lighting me on fire situation. What do you think the odds are the sparkling walls mean a secret? I'm gonna sacrifice my only bomb to see if that's... Yep, we figured it out. And we're rewarded with one whole bomb for our efforts. We got our bomb back. There's definitely supposed to be something here due to the little question mark on the map. I clearly just... Whoops, I'm not properly equipped for that. Well, I blew up the minecart, so outstanding. There goes my only bomb. And it turns out you can double up on items because I found two of these in one hole. From what I gather, these purple chests are a gamble. They will give you good stuff, but they will curse you with something. The last one I had actually reduced the amount of gold I had after dying, so that really didn't work to my advantage. But what are the odds of that happening twice in a row? Cursed. What's our curse today? Double all costs. Well, I can live with that. Especially since both of those basically give me more health, so that means I can be lazier about what I'm doing and don't have to worry about damage as much. And I'm very excited for these snowboard boots. Walk on air? Aw, oh, I thought they'd just make me faster. Well, that's kind of cool, considering I do fall down the holes a lot more than I'd like to admit. Another curse chest. I'm not sure how many there are or what possible curses there are, but I want to explore them all. Even if this really works against what I'm doing, I've got nothing but time. Enemies now release spiders on death, which is fantastic because spiders are really annoying. Especially in the little levels that are just full of monsters. I walked into this one and had like 80 little rats, so they all turn into spiders when they die and then I take a whole bunch of damage. But we took care of the problem, we just lost all of our health doing it. 
But I think I have an idea. Since I can't actually fall down the holes anymore. Can I lure this idiot into chasing me? Yep, there we go. Well, that was easy. Usually those guys are a lot harder to kill. Whoops, okay, so the spiders are still annoying me. Well, I found my mushroom friend again. I'm pretty sure he wanted me to bring the mushrooms to someone else, but I don't really remember, so let's just check in with him really quick to see what I know. Uh, hello again, my friend. I've got the mushrooms. You've discovered all the mushrooms? Great, now I can leave this place. Oh, right, he did need them. What do you got for me? Laboratory in the top level. Okay, hopefully that was worth it. Not that it worked particularly hard to get them, but I wouldn't mind an upgrade that I could, you know, keep forever. I did it. I managed to keep 1,500 gold after dying. Which took quite a while, so now we get a bigger gold bag so I can get more gold for more upgrades. Oh, and that guy's back too. One spider silk sack, please. Hopefully that makes a big difference. Next one is 3,500. I'm pretty sure I'm not even going to be able to do that until I can defeat the boss and venture further because I'm going to lose my gold again and again and again. So what do you have for me? What do we have here? What stray animal followed you home? I didn't follow him in particular. I just kind of came here. Do you have anything I could break? That's mostly all I'm here for. And what do we got? Empty bottle. Carry an extra potion. If only I ever use potions for anything. That is one suspicious shrine. What do we got? Pray? Uh, remove a curse. Yeah, I really don't need to do that. We got anything else though? What are these other things? Definitely not worth it considering that's all temporary anyway and I'm gonna die within 30 seconds. No problem. Well alright, I finally have 1134 gold to spend on something that's not a bigger gold pouch. I'm thinking we'll start off with just a lot of ranged damage. They seem to be the cheapest to buy anyway so I might as well just see what we can get out of here. Managed to get three upgrades just to range damage and we'll give ourselves some extra health because it's not a lot of fun dying consistently. So every upgrade to health gave us an extra 20. We went from 200 to 240. So the upgrades are fairly minimal. But it turns out these things, they actually drop gold if you can manage to hit them while they're running around. And all sorts of other goodies too. They're pretty rare to spawn, so when you see them, make sure you hit them. One thing I do when I check, I noticed in the options menu, you have the option to give up. So I lose my gold if I just do it this way. 324 gold currently. And yep, we still have the same effect. I'm keeping about two thirds of my gold every time I die though, but it's nice to know I have that option should I get bored. And if I gotta have the option to upgrade the bombs, black powder bomb upgrades a bomb from slightly dangerous to pretty dangerous. Yes, please. We could also make ridiculously big bombs. That could be fun. 150 for the next one. Bishop's prize blend of 57 different powders and chemicals. Give me that. So a few more runs soon, we should be able to have a lot of upgrades, which will make a big difference. I wonder if that means we're ready to blow up these yet. Nope. Doesn't look like it's even close. How big is the radius of my new bomb so if I drop one there? Not really much bigger than it was before. I think it's mostly just a damage thing. That looks fun. Cinnamon bun. What do we got? Wealth. Increased gold income. Okay, this is what I need to be finding every single run. Now to not die in stupid devastating fashion. I definitely didn't kill myself with my own bomb there. Don't even worry about it. I did some of the usual upgrades, damage and armor, but I also want the glasses. That way I can see the health and name of the enemies. Not sure why, but that might be helpful. Managed to end this run with 3200 gold thanks to an item that let me keep all my gold. So I'm thinking we figure out what these are. Echo Blast, 2500 gold, and we get a new type of bomb. While we're at it, we'll just kind of upgrade the damage of the old bombs anyway. I'm really hoping these new bombs blow up these kind of rocks so I can finally see what's up there. Hopefully make some more gold. Got my first bomb. Time to see if the investment was worth the time. It looks like it was. Well, we at least removed the blocks. I have no idea what this is going to lead to. Quiet, please. Yep, I'm really good at quiet. Uh, hopefully this isn't anything too difficult because I'm not very strong still. Oh, well that's a rather inviting bed. What's this all about? We're just getting ready for bed. That's okay, I don't mind. The cartographer, he makes the maps that are always ever changing. So that seems pretty useless so far. I'll just be taking all your stuff and leaving then. And also putting your lights out because you're going to bed anyway. I spent a lot of gold to upgrade my bombs and I don't really think that was worth it. This wasn't really something I expected to happen so early on. I thought I'd need more upgrades, but I think I'm actually about to beat this idiot. And I think he's dead. Yeah, I expected to need a lot more grinding, but it just so happens I have the right items and there we go. All sorts of loot for me. Not to mention, it's getting pretty late, so I'm pretty tired. Selt's egg, new blueprint. He's really not so bad once you learn his pattern. And what do we got here? Selt's fragment and the final one, this is for opening the other dungeon, I think. Dungeon key. Well, all right, I would rather have about 50,000 gold, but we'll make do. Oh, it actually just fits me right back out at these guys. The key opens this door, so perfect. Don't mind if I do. Armed with 21 health and a very tired mind, I'm ready to go. Right away I found the map, so I'm pretty sure that means I can warp right back here in the future. Can I have that gold you're holding? Oh, I can actually. I didn't expect that to work. So far we're dealing with the same enemies, but I know they'll change and get harder as we get a little deeper. Like, these things are all new. I like the spike ball because it mostly kills things for me. And I'm not sure what this story of the knight is. Is he on my team? It doesn't really look like he is. Whoa, okay. I'll mostly just be taking my gold and be on my way. Or, you know, that... 
but we're off to a good start. 